everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome back to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We have a lot to cover this week, so let's head out west where we find Jesse Love, who was back in his number 44 Cox Racing Wing Sprint car for four races in five days, starting at Marysville Speedway on Wednesday night. Jesse qualified seventh, ran second in his heat, and brought home a top 10 finish in eighth place in the A main. On night two, he was at Ocean Speedway on Friday. Let's check in with the driver for a post-race recap. What's up guys, it's Jesse. We're here at Marysville, just finished up. Uh, good to fill the cars tonight. Uh, qualified like seventh or something like that. Uh, started in second our heat, got the jump early, uh, made a mistake, fell back to second, ran second in the heat. Started ninth in the feature, um, and, the, and it went green, or went all 30 laps, green to checker, no, no caution, so kind of everything got strung out, picked up a few positions, went like ninth to seventh or eighth or something like that. Um, so overall, good, good run, car was great as, no, as usual, um, just needed a few cautions, definitely had a really good car uh, to contend with, but um, just got to learn from it, we'll move on, just kind of a hard race to pass when it goes green to checker, but um, part of it, we'll go to the next one, we got next few days, like three days in a row, sprint car racing starting on Friday, so looking forward to it, uh, good run tonight, and we'll build off of it. Jesse was at Placerville Speedway for night three on Saturday, where he qualified eighth, ran eighth in the heat race, transferring into the B main, where he came home ninth, but unfortunately was unable to transfer to the A main. On night four, Jesse was at Silver Dollar Speedway on Sunday, where he qualified seventh, ran third in his heat, and finished eighth in the A main. Wow, what a week for the young Menlo Park driver. Up next for Jesse, Arca Menards at Evergreen Speedway on August 7th. Joey East was at Madera Speedway for round three of the Nut Up Pro Late Model Series in his number 88 Nate Clower Motorsports Richwood Meets US Ag Center 59 Chevrolet. Joey qualified 18th out of 24 cars that were all separated by less than one second. Joey raced mid-pack the entire race in what was described as a one-lane racetrack, eventually finishing in 12th position. Up next for Joey, Nut Up Pro Late Models at Madera Speedway on August 8th. Connor Mozak was at Hickory Motor Speedway for twin 40-lap features in his number eight junior motorsports Nick Taylor Interstate Foam Supply Chevrolet. Connor had a great car for Friday's practice, saying his Chevrolet was the best it had been all season. On Saturday in qualifying, rain played a major part in the results, and Connor qualified 18th. Despite having a car with good balance and speed, Connor was unable to make up much ground and finished 16th in the first feature. Lining up 16th for the second main, Connor was looking forward to improving his finish. When the green flag waved, the car running to his outside came down the track and into the side of Connor's car that sent him sliding across the grass and up into the path of the field in turn three. Contact from another car in his right front wrecked the suspension and he was done for the night in 18th place. Up next for Connor, Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway on August 1st. Caden Honeycutt was at Boyd Raceway in his number 37 Dirt Sport Modified. He started last in his heat and finished second. In the feature, he started ninth due to IMCA points, but was able to finish second. On Saturday, Caden made the trip to Kennendale Speedway Park. Again, starting last in the heat race, but drove through the field for the win. Again, due to IMCA rules, he had to start 12th in the feature. That race went caution free and Caden could only get up to six. Up next for Caden, Blizzard Series at Five Flag Speedway this weekend for Donnie Wilson Racing in the Fame number two super late model. Grant Thompson was at Chris Motorsports Park on Sunday due to a rain out on Saturday. The young Mobile Alabama racer qualified his number 38 racing radio Serendipity Chevrolet on the pole and led every lap on his way to his fourth win of the year in only seven starts. 
with no finishes outside the top three. Up next for Grant, Pro Late Models at Montgomery Speedway on August 1st. Gavin Graham was at Atlanta Motor Speedway for two races in the INEX Legend Car Thursday Thunder Series in the Young Lions division. Gavin put his number double zero in victory lane in race one, then backed that up later in the day with a second place finish in race two. Gavin sets third in points, only 12 out of first, heading into the last race of the series this Thursday night. Jake Bowman returned to Madera Speedway for round three of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series, where he qualified sixth. Jake ran in the top three for most of the first 40 laps, but was involved in an incident on lap 39 just before the halfway break. Jake had to start 15th after the break, but kept his composure and raced his way back to a sixth place finish. Up next for Jake, 5150 Junior Late Models at Madera Speedway on August 8th. Cassidy Hines also returned to Madera Speedway for round three of the Junior Late Model Series on Saturday night. Cassidy qualified her number 88, Nate Clower, Frontier Roofing, Friends of Jacqueline entry in 11th and ran as high as fifth after the break. Cassidy was running eight with five laps to go before getting caught up in a late race incident and eventually came home in 12th. Up next for Cassidy, Legend Cars and Pro Trucks at Colorado National Speedway on August 1st. Brody Moore returned to Madera Speedway for round three of the Junior Late Model Series in his number 78 Charlie Wilson prepared entry. Brody qualified 12th in the 20 car field that saw all 20 cars just over one second apart. Brody was involved in a racing incident on the restart after the halfway break that caused some damage to the car going a few lap downs for repair, but was able to finish 17th. Up next for Brody, back to Madera Speedway, Junior Late Models, August 8th. Haley Constance was back at Deming Speedway in her micro sprint where she qualified P1. Haley started fourth in her heat and got into a little incident on the initial start, but battled her way back up to a third place finish. Now in the A main, she started third and was battling for second for most of the race and made the pass in the final laps, bringing home a second place finish. Up next for Haley, Mountain Dew Junior Late Models at Wenatchee Valley Super Oval on August 8th. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Make sure to tune in for Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out our Speed Zone Race Store featuring merchandise from your favorite race face drivers. We'll be back next week with more action from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.